Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this rail switch where the train can switch the rail. So let's go. First of all we need to change our path or our blueprint actor so let's open it up and it gets one component, a box collision as well as a variable called deactivate Compound save this, select the box collision, go down to on component begin overlap. Of course we cast to our train. Then we take out the boolean here, need the branch to ask, like that. Then we want to set the distance, so our float here to zero on false. We want to set our active path. Therefore we take out the spline component and connect it with the active path. Then we want to set the boolean that we created to true. Need a little delay of for example two seconds and again we want to set our boolean to false again. Then we go to our train, open it up. This will be get a box collision as well. Let's call this trigger, for example, go to the viewport, leave it there, just make it a little bit bigger so that we hit the collision box of the path. Compile and save this. We can close this now and the path is also done. The next thing is this switch here. So I already prepared a blueprint actor, so right click blueprint class actor. Let's open this up. So as you can see, it's very similar. We have a spline component and box collision, but in this case also we have this curve here. So that's just a static mesh. And we have a second spline component that make this curve here so that we can switch the rail. Also, we need two variables as well. We need an deactivate and we need an switch boolean. We make the switch public, compile and save this. Let's go to the event graph. And the good part is we can just copy and paste the functionality of our path. So let's get in here, copy and paste everything inside here. And we just have to make a few adjustments. We pull out a second spline component. So this side, pull this out here, unplug this one. We need a branch to ask. We take out our switch boolean, connect it on true. We want to set the active path to the side spline component and on false. We want to set it to the normal way. You can say, of course, we have to connect the spline here and set it. So this will be our switch function. And that's basically it. So when we overlap and box collision, it will activate the spline. So let's open up the details of our rail switch here and we can switch around the switch, you can say. When we now hit play, the train will switch the lane. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.